All right, so I recently picked up a pair of New Balance sneakers that I honestly didn't even know released. Like, this was a sleeper release to me and maybe some of you guys that are watching this. Other people that are watching this are gonna be like, dude, of course I wanted those and I missed them or yeah, I got a pair of them. Also, shout out to the dude on Twitter that actually reached out to me and asked me if I was getting a pair of these. I told him no, but dude, hopefully you're watching the video because I actually ended up getting a pair on a restock that they had on the site. And like, first of all, take a look at this colorway. This, this is a fire colorway for a New Balance 990 V3. Really, really solid colorway. Comes with some extra fat laces. You have red and black. But this colorway, the 990, is I was completely sold when I saw the images. I was like, bro, like how did I not know about him, first of all? And second of all, I was like, is this a collaboration or is this a general release? Honestly, sometimes pretty confusing with some of these brands. I never know if it's gonna be like an exclusive release to a specific store or if it's like a collaboration with a specific store. They do a release early and then other stores are gonna be getting them. So I don't know if New Balance is gonna be getting these specifically or not. A lot of times they do collaborations like Jown and Stone Island and stuff and they, they do the releases on their sites, but then they do the release on the New Balance site afterwards so we'll see if these end up dropping on new balance if they do i will link them in the description and then i will post them on twitter and instagram as soon as they uh, go live so follow me over there on uh social if you don't so this is the dtlr collaboration which is a sneaker store and not one that i really thought much about honestly no disrespect to dtlr i didn't really know that they had collaborations working like this but uh, what they say on the website about these shoes new balance and dtlr have teamed up again to bring you a new take on the 990 v3 this grayscale offering features a breathable mesh upper with supple suede overlays which take on New Balance's classic gray color palette. Down below you have an end cap midsole cushioning providing durable support, mesh upper suede and leather overlays, and logo overlays uh, at sides, traditional lacing system, padded tongue, New Balance branding, uh, New Balance on the heel, and then reflective details and so on. But the crazy thing to me is there's no DTLR branding on the shoe. So again, this is just my lack of knowledge of how some of these collaborations work because a lot of times you have a bodega, you have these boutiques, and then you have the co-branding. This says it was created with DTLR, but I don't see anything on the shoe that says DTLR. Regardless of any of that, I looked at the shoes and I was like, dude, they did such an incredible job with the color blocking. The grays of the shoe, I love that they call it a gray scale. Obviously you could see a different scale of grays. The light gray from the mesh, the like the medium colored gray across the toe box and the darker gray on the heel of the shoe as well as on the mesh on the back of the shoe. So there's actually two different tones of gray mesh on the shoe that I could see. Then you have a black liner and a black tongue, black on the side panel of the shoe, and then also on the reflective end, half of the midsole, and then the front half of the midsole is white. So it's like literally white to black on the shoe. My favorite color is actually gray, which is kind of weird. I always say that to my kids and they're like, gray's not a color dad. And I'm like, it's true. But any which way, I, I like gray a lot. And I like that there is a variation of gray on this shoe in a bunch of different ways. And it looks really good. Like it's a really bold statement to actually integrate gray on a pair of New Balance and call it a collaboration. Because gray to New Balance is like red and black to a pair of Jordans. So the fact that they did that and they also made it look really cool, I think is a really nice feat. This reminds me of a pair that I actually designed back in the day. I think they were the 998s. One of my first pairs that I designed of New Balances, when they actually had them available, you can design your own on the website. New Balance, bring that back, dude. That would be so crazy. But it was a 998, and I made it themed after the Air Jordan Fear 4s. That's kind of what these remind me of, but these remind me of the 998s that I did as well. I like the way that those ones came out. I actually don't remember. I think I sold those pairs. I don't even know what I did with that shoe. But this shoe definitely has a nice variation of grays. I like what they did with it. And even the outsole has difference in black and like a couple different tones of gray down here. You also do have the carbon fiber in the middle of the midfoot. And that's the same on all of the 990 V3s. The only thing I would change about the shoe if I had to change one thing would be the tongue leather. It feels like pleather, it feels fake. I don't know if it's real or not, but it feels fake. And that mixed with the high quality suede in the sides of the shoe. I just, I feel like this should have been black suede up here. Also, I would have liked to see some embroidery with the New Balance logo on the tongue. Other than that though, I mean, they really did a great job on this. So if you know more about this collab than I do, of course, a lot of you viewers might. Um, feel free to chime in on what I missed out on because again, this isn't their first collaboration that DTLR did, but primarily when I focus on New Balances, I focus on what they have available on their website, what's coming through the channels on their website. And this is not one of those shoes that I saw over there. Uh, appreciate you all for mentioning it to me though. I like that little New Balance logo on the back here too, the little jewel with the red, really nice there. But yeah, I appreciate you all for mentioning it to me because this is one of those shoes that I was like, dude, I don't know anything about that one. And I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, that. That's actually super fire. And it's really, really nice on feet. I think it's a great looking colorway. 
nice materials as we'd expect from New Balance. But um, but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys are interested in buying a pair, I'll try to link them in the description, probably over to eBay. Also in the description, I'll put a link to New Balance Made in the USA collection. All the other ones available right now on New Balance's website. They have a ton of great colorways over there, as well as the Made in the UK versions. There's some really, really solid 991s. I actually might like the 991 better than the 990 V3. The 991 Made in the UK versions, there's a couple of new colorways that are just super fire. But uh, appreciate you all for stopping by and watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully we'll see you guys back on the channel for some more content. And if you guys did like the video, please drop a like and subscribe and all that other stuff. Have a good one though. All right. Peace guys.